Huge thanks to Dbrand and MSI for sponsoring our trip to CES 2017. If you're looking to spice up your device with the best skins out there, then Dbrand is where it's at. Not only do they provide the most precise fit out there, but they offer a variety of colors and materials to choose from for tons of products out there. If you guys are interested in spicing up your device, make sure to visit them by clicking on the link below. What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and I'm back again from the MSI booth here at CES, but this time we're going to be taking a look at a few of their new desktops that are launching this year with Intel's newest 7th gen processors. Okay. Now I'm going to start to introduce to the most powerful MSI gaming desktop PC and it's called the Aegis TI3. And also it's the most powerful in the MSI desktop. So you can see right here, uh, we're not just refreshed about our ID, we also uh, have a lot of the upgrade in the like motherboard and other designs. So the first one you can see right here, that we, go, we get more colorful about the Mystic Light. And also we put some Mystic Light on the VGA car side. So you can see right here, it, it would be more colorful. So we use the PCIe transform car to let the VGA car become the vertical. So it won't cause, we can avoid the VGA car weight and the gravity to cause damage on multiple pin. All of our MSI gaming desktop we're going to use is going to use the MSI gaming VGA card. And also we have the headset stand that you can hang your headset like. Another biggest feature is the silent stone cooling. In order to make our uh, MSI gaming PC more more cooler, uh, more quiet and cooler, so we separate the desktop into three chambers. Three chambers. Yes, because we need we want to ensure that every key component in MSI desktop will be well prepared for the cooling. All of the MSI desktop will come with the VR link and plugin and our software is called the Gaming Center. It will pop up and there is a, a function called the One Click to VR. The One Click to VR will going to optimize the MSI desktop into the best environment for VR device. We can let the end user easy to upgrade their memories or even with the M.2 PCIe SSD. And also our Aegis TI we're going to have a uh, overclocking as you know. And in KB Lake we're not only uh, maintain the CPUs to 4.6, we upgrade the overclocking to that the Aegis TI3 can have the CPU like 4.8. We can come over for the Aegis X3. Aegis X3 will come with the Z270 multiple. Okay. It will come with the vertical design. So end user won't have to worry about bending the multiple. Aegis X3 will come with the MSI customized water cooling system. Okay. Liquid cooling. We ensure that VGA car will have its own cooling system and also the VR link, of course. So this one, we also have the refresh its ID. So you can see right here, even with the Nightblade Mini, we still have the VR link. And also the VGA car is come with the vertical design. What, uh, what GPU is this one running? This one, it would be the 1070. Yeah. And the multiple will come with the Z250. Let's go to Trident. Trident? Yeah. My favorite. Everyone, yeah. My personal favorite. My personal favorite as well. <laughs> Anybody who don't know about the Trident may consider it as a console box, but it, it, it isn't. It is a totally full system for MSI game desktop. The Trident 3 is the world's smallest VR-ready gaming PC. Trident 3 will come with the uh, i7 and i5 CPU of the KB Lake. And the graphic card will going to come with the 1066 gigabyte. We will have a 1070, oh, okay. like in March. And also, it will come with the VR link as well. The Trident will come with the Silent Storm cooling too, because we will, we still will separate into two chambers. And right here, it should be uh, at the bottom will be the MSI gaming graphic card and the top will be the CPU. So that will do it for us at the MSI booth here at CES. As always, make sure you guys stick around for more CES coverage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.